everybody, welcome back to Mayumi TV. If you're new here, my name is Mayumi. And I'm Justine. And just like you, we are in the journey towards getting, getting it together. together. So if you're interested in videos about self-improvement, plus size videos included, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell right beside it so you're updated every time there's a new upload like this one. For today's video, Justine, are you ready for what we are about to try? I am so ready. Are you ready? I am so ready. I'm so excited. This is the first time that both of us, plus size women are going to try Ariel, Ariel Silk. Silk. So if you want to see how much challenging it would be for our size, for whatever size there is, just keep on watching. I've tried so many times and I ain't never gonna stop. Vicky from Polecats Manila. I'm here to challenge Mayumi and Justine to Aerial Silks. Yay! I've been on Aerial Silks and Pole for around 11 years now, and I'm really looking forward to introducing this to more people. Over the edge, feel like I'm floating through the air. What I love the most about pole and aerial life is that it continues to challenge me. I learn about myself and about other people a lot. In the same way, I always push myself in the sport. It also helps me celebrate myself and accept myself at the same time. I do pole and silks. I feel like I've dabbled in everything for over the years that yeah. we have done it. But those are the two that I really like. Yeah. I also like dancing in heels. Maybe Ooh. that's something you yeah. want to try. Okay, warm up exercises. Warm up. For aerial silks, what will work a lot harder are our arms and our shoulders and our yeah. core as well. So, first, let's bring our arms all the way up. And when you bring them down, push them out and down. Let's keep them at shoulder level now. Keep your rib cage in slightly and let's make small circles forward towards the back as well. Okay. Super small circles, just waking up those muscles. And then keeping the body straight, we will cross and open, cross and open. Your elbows and shoulders, same level. And try to keep the shoulders away from your ears. We're gonna turn the palms in and up. Woo. Can you feel it? Yes, yes. yes. These are all stabilizing exercises to make sure that when we hang from the silks, when we pull ourselves up, we are ready for that move. Okay. Let's roll our hips forward and back. Oh, I love this. Forward <laughs> and back. back. Yes. It's, like, it's perfect for my back. Let's bring one shoulder in out to the Wait, side. This is my oh favorite my as well. Come oh back to the middle. I love my body. Straighten your legs and try oh, to yes. keep your body. Enjoying it too much. <laughs> Woo! Yes! Let's stretch our shoulder out a little bit as well. Bring the left arm oh over and God. try to keep your arms super straight when we make circles. One, two, and four. Hug your right leg. Three, two, and up. Do it on the other side as well. Ready. Super straight arms. And one, and four. Other way. One, four. Hug your left leg. Two, and one. On our hands and knees, trying to stabilize the shoulder, let's tuck our toes under our heels and we want to push the floor away from us. And then try to lift up the knees a little. So now you'll feel a little bit more weight in the core and in the shoulders. Try to actively push away like you're hollowing out the top part of your chest as well. And then if you can, try to shift forward and back over your wrists. Yes. In four. All the years of yoga are paying off. You can come down, stretch your shoulders out a bit. We're going to try to crunch down. One. Oh, I hate crunches. Oh, no. <laughs> and up. Yes. Yes. Down and up. And last one. Legs up for this one. And then one leg will bend in as the other leg straightens out to the floor. Yes. Ooh. Bring one arm around to come up. Oh, I love it. Even that has some sense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and point and flex. And bring your arms over and reach up towards the ceiling and almost arch your lower back. Yes, crunch and arch. Let's bring it a little bit inwards. You can press your hands down or lean back a little bit. We're going to try to bring that leg up. I've never done that. Let's try how this version will. Ooh, yeah. wow. Lean back if you have to. And let's go one, 
two. Very good. And five. Awesome. Are yeah. we okay? We yeah, yeah, yeah. so much that we It's cramped. been a while, yeah. isn't it? It is. Yeah. One. <laughs> two. Yes. And five. My favorite part is when I see my students light up when they achieve something, when people surprise themselves, when they think something they could have never done, they think they could have never done it, but it's totally accessible. With some practice, they can do it. With their classmates, it makes it all the more fun. Let's bring the silks wide apart. Okay. Now we're okay. gonna swish it apart. We wanna stand right under the figure eight. That prevents an anchor. the swinging. Yes, it's called the figure eight. That's where we loop the silk and then the carabiners are the ones that are hooking it onto the ceiling. With our arms wide apart, we're going to shift our shoulders up and down. When you shift it down, you'll feel like the sides of your armpits kind of waking up a little bit. And down is kind of the most ideal for when you're carrying yourself a little. Okay. So we're gonna lie down in the air and bring your hands together. Yeah. Oh this requires so much trust. Are we? <laughs> yeah. Trust of yourself. Shoulders down. Mm -hmm. And then lie down in the air, hands together, mm -hmm. and open them up. Shoulders apart. Yes. It's like your ex. Exactly. Okay. How about my foot? Is it fine if I'm like planted? Yeah. Yeah. Planted. It can be flexed. Your toes okay, can come up my, a little yeah. as well. Okay. Yes. The one thing we don't want to do is kind of body wave into it. We arms open. Two. And Open. I see the fighting spirit. Yeah, in my face is like. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So you can shake your arms off a little. How are our hands? Yeah, the pressure is in the grip, right? Yeah. For me, it's here. That's perfect. That's the out motion. The okay. hands. That's where I feel it the most when I take a long break. Bring your elbows in. So practice okay, this okay. motion. Our hands are still reaching high up. When you bring your hands in. Lower the hands and then elbows in as you come up. There, awesome. Uh -huh. Find the right height for you. Close your hands as you lie down and then elbows in as you come up. Very good. Your exercises are nice and slow, so it's like you're feeling. And last one now. Straight and elbows all the way in. Perfect. Okay. All the beginner's trick starts from a knot. We want the knot to be kind of low so that you can step on it yeah. from a standing height. We're holding the silks with our left hand and with our right hand, it's gonna cut across and back. Yes, exactly. Um, other way, maybe. The Perfect. left hand kind of gives a lot of slack so there's a lot of space. You can mm -hmm. slide it out and then hand it to your right hand. And then oh, pull okay. the tension silk and then pull your right hand all the way through. And it's gonna create this knot. This is called an egg knot. Left, so, cut, feed. Yeah. We're trying to find the center of the silks, okay? Okay. We wanna bring the silks to the side of our hips and in front of our armpits. Stand in the middle, yep, right where the knot is. And push down with your legs and your other leg will come through. <laughs> yes. <gasps> Knee goes through. Bring it inside. Oh, I love it. Yes. Now I have more control. And shoulders down. I love it. Exactly. Yes. Wow. Yes. Is she a goddess. <laughs> I'm just whirling. I know. Is it normal for people to get scared? Yes. It's the usual reaction. When you ask about why am I spinning, some people get scared of simply the spinning motion or the swinging motion. But there's always a little bit of swing when you go on. For some people, that already makes them a bit nauseous. Like it's it's okay to kind of get feet out there at first. With practice, you'll also figure out that it's not unsafe. It's really just the first experience. So once you learn how to maneuver with the silks, a bit more, then they're like, oh, hey, got this. Yeah, hey. Justine, I cannot believe it can handle my weight. In front of your armpits. Yep, can your hands release? Okay. Perfect. Woo! This is the basic standing pose. Wow, wow. I'm just amazed. Other leg, and then the other knee goes through. Yep. Oh, yes, baby. That's what my calves muscles are for. Hey, why am I moving more? You really have to engage the core, otherwise you'll move around a little. Damn! Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm just really amazed right yeah, now. Yeah, then it can handle our weight, right? I know. There's really a swivel, so that means you enter with some momentum. It's fine, yeah. Okay. How does it feel? Fun, it's so fun. Feels yeah. like you're a goddess. I know. 
Because I am, so I don't know. I mean, yeah, we are, but like, it's just good to have no, these moments. When I'm on the pole, I feel like I'm a bombshell because I am as well. Uh -huh. But here, I'm a goddess. This adds a bit more grace to yeah, the yeah, yeah. fumbles. Two, three, and knee in. Yep. Standing pose. Yep. And bring your arms through. Nice. Knee forward. <laughs> she didn't know. I love it. I saw the idea when you're in your face. You're like, wait a minute. In my head, I wanted to. <laughs> But like my body's like, nope, no, nope, no, nope. No, no, no. This is your exit. The next one is to do a backwards lean. Oh, pop the foot back. From the standing pose, okay. we're going to go into the forward lean. Okay. And then when you pull back in, lulu so tayo all the way. Ooh. Okay. Let's get into the silk standing pose. Okay. Yes. Hands. And forward lean. Yup, yup, yup. And forward lean. And then pull yourself back in, kick the silks in front of you, and backwards lean. Yeah. Straighten your arms, Kaya. Yes. How does your feet feel? It's fine. Yeah. Okay, so on the first day, that's what will. Oh. The ball. Yeah. Because that's where the fine. knot is, that's where a lot of the weight is on right now. All I right? do jump rope, so that's massage for me. Up. Yes. Yes. Very good. And arms up. And through, and pull back in, and kick the silks forward, nice! And you can oh. step down. I wanted to extend my foot, like you oh. said. Okay. Are we good? Yes. 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 We are going to give our hands a bit of a rest, and I want you to think of like the opposite side. This move is called half in, half out. We have standing pose, leg up, that's what will hold the silks again. The other hand, it's gonna come in between and then you're gonna put the silk to your shoulder. So Ooh. opposite the bash shoulder okay. and knee. And then with this other silk, you'll open it and insert your knee inside. There's not so much tension when your weight is going down, but if you push against it, you won't feel like you're gonna fall. Okay. That's why also it's opposite. You have security Balance. on both sides. Balance, exactly. Wow. Also, a lot of the hesitation with silks comes from that the poses are a bit cerebral. Your body parts have to be like all the way up rather than just like Ooh. letting loose. A lot of people get intimidated by that or on the first session, they feel like, Oh my god, all this information. Mind and body coordination. Yeah. Yes. Some people that like totally get it. And some people it takes them some time to do that. But that's okay. Like, like yeah. that's where the practice comes in. That's where Pole Cats Manila comes in. Yeah. 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 Exactly. exactly. My coordination is good. My memory is not. Yes. See, like this is, is relaxing for me. It's like head back. Very good. I love it. From half in, half out, we're going to go into something called the hatching egg. And it's every first timer's favorite trick. Right leg and left leg comes through. Okay. Yes. And then open the silk in front of you. Woo! Are yeah. you okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yes. And then hold two hands on the silk behind you and open the silk out around your shoulders. Yep. That's the thing, you have to be very familiar with the apparatus because there's so much... Ooh! There we go! Yes! Bye! Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, so okay, go, push, through. I get why it's their favorite. Opening, fold, yeah. Yeah. and then okay. half in, half out. Go through. And how about you're familiar with the terms? <laughs> with... Okay. That's the thing, you have to be familiar with the silk itself. The silk is actually very big, but you have to know where the openings are. Oh, I can even sit! Bye, guys! It's ringing! Wow! Okay. I love it, see? It's okay. very playful as well. Yes, I yeah. can't believe I'm like working Wait, and I'm still all. hanging on. So yeah. like, I can't believe that we're not ruining anything from the studio. Yeah. It really is sturdy enough for any way. We really invested in like the best equipment. Yeah. My advice is to come and we've got you. I know that a lot of the apprehension will come from before coming in, but I invite you to come in, take a chance on us. Let's put everything yes. together. Okay. Yes. And bring the opposite leg through the silk. Okay. Hands lower and arms all the way up and come through. Yes. Okay. Bring yourself back in and. 
Come back in. Yep, just step back in. It's going to be fine. Okay, fine. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. It's okay. No Okay. okay. Hold the silk behind you and open it behind you. Yes. There we go. Yes. Insert the other leg in. I can't. <laughs> wow. It's so amazing. I feel like I'm playing. I know. Even if I can't do everything in the routine, I don't feel unsafe. Yeah. I think they did great. They have great mind-body coordination. They had great fighting spirit. And at the same time, super enthusiastic. They also love to do the exercises in good form. They wanted to do it properly. They were very gung-ho about going up onto the silks. The routine turned out great. And most importantly, we had fun! Yay! <laughs> we invite everyone to come try pole, silk, hoop, hammock here at Pole Cats Manila. Try out one of our dance classes. In the studio, we believe that pole and aerial and dance can be for everybody. It can be for everyone of all ages and backgrounds. You don't need to be flexible or strong already. That's all part of the journey and you'll meet a lot of great friends along the way. So, Pole Cats Manila, literally for everybody! <laughs> Yay! Good job to you both! So how was the Ariel Silk experience? It's just amazing that as a plus size girl who hasn't had a lot of workouts throughout the pandemic and after like so many years that I could still conquer it and rely on my strength and my body to trust the silk itself. As a plus size woman, you always, anything you hop onto, you're scared that you, it couldn't handle your weight. Exactly. And it, it makes you plumb up because you feel like nothing can hold your weight. Exactly. But when you're on the silk, it's surprisingly so sturdy mm -hmm. and I feel so secure. I know, exactly. That was the main realization. If I just trust myself enough that yes. I am strong and I can carry my weight, also trust that the equipment is safe for that particular exercise or that sport, then exactly. I can conquer Fear it. Fear is crippling, so don't listen to your fear and just try it. No matter what shape, what size, what form you are in, just give it a try because I was surprised as to how easy it was for me. Do you want to try Ariel Silk again? Oh yeah, definitely. I want to challenge myself more and push my boundaries. Yeah, I feel like the possibilities for Ariel Silk is limitless and I'm excited to learn all this stuff. So yeah, that's it. Bye. Bye! That is it for today, girls. Thank you very much for joining us in our journey of trying out Ariel Silk. It was awesome. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment down below what you would like us to do next. And I hope to see you on my next one. Kisses! Hi! Love it! Full <laughs> cast also does like hyper feminine classes. Yes, essential pole, sensual Ooh. floor. Like a